Uh, howdy y'all, Mr. Reardon here. Um, I am going to walk you through how to put together the Works Cited page for your research paper. Um, so, in order to move through this process the most efficiently, um, you're going to need your um, doing your research piece from uh, week two. Um, if you haven't completed the doing your research piece, then you are definitely going to need to get that done first before you um, work on, before you put together a works cited page, otherwise it will take you way too long. Uh, so I'm going to pull in the examples from the doing your initial research document. Here it is. All right, so these are six sources that I thought about using for my paper. Um, keep in mind, I probably won't actually need to use all of these sources in the end, but I don't know that yet. Um, and so I should start the process by making sure that all of them show up in my, um, in my works cited page. Now, as I work on the paper, as I write the outline, and as I um, write the paper itself, I will start to delete, realize that I don't need certain quotes, and I will start to delete entries from the works cited page until I end up with a works cited page that contains only the sources that I end up using. Um, and this process is transferable to any kind of research or synthesis paper in any other context. So just so you know, I'm looking at this. I'm actually going to, um, uh, let's see, I'm actually going to keep it for a moment. Um, so if you have linked your sources using this little word link here, like I've been suggesting you do, or like I, like I suggested you do uh, when I walked you through how to use this document, then this process is going to go very quickly for you. All right, so I'm going to click on this link, um, and it's taking me directly to the article where I took the quote from. What the quote is doesn't actually matter that much right now. All that matters is, because it's a website, I don't need to cite a page number or anything. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to um, take this URL, and I'm going to uh, copy. I just copied it to the desktop. I'll do that again here. Copy. All right now, I want to use a tool online called EasyBib. EasyBib is a really awesome tool that will help you to put together um, your citations without having to go through the really tedious process of figuring out the, you know, exactly where all the punctuation and all the little pieces of your citations go. Um, the system will do it for you. Um, there are others as well. Citation Machine, I think, is another one. Um, and I'm sure you could find 10 others on the internet. This one seems to work well for me. Um, there are a lot of ads you have to ignore, um, but other than that, it seems to be perfectly fine. So I want to create citations. I'm clicking on that. Um, this is a website, and so it says find your website, and I'm just going to take that URL that I copied to the clipboard and paste it here, and search. It's going to confirm the title of the article, here it is right here, and the people who wrote it, and the link, and I'm going to then click Cite. And it noticed all of the, um, all of the, uh, all of these pieces, but it didn't notice these pieces. And so I'm going to try to fill that in. Um, it's not really essential that all those pieces get filled in, especially if they're slightly less important things like publisher or sponsor. Um, if uh, EasyBib can't find something essential like the author, right, or the title of the article, then you definitely need to fix that. Um, it should be clear at the very least um, the, uh, the title, the author, and the day that, or the day the article was published. Those are the most important things. Um, so I'm going to say continue, and it's gathering the information, and it's giving me a window here that says, um, the, or that just gives me a place to put in any extra information if I happen to find it. So publisher or sponsor, it actually happens to be the same as the website, Teach for America. So I'm going to add that here. It's the same. Um, and then that's it. Complete citation. Hmm. Yeah, apparently it, it has these ads. I forgot about this. Okay, well, I'm going to um, ignore that. Here's a razor that works differently.
I'm going to hop over here for a moment and actually just prepare the next link here. So going back to my doing your initial research document. Here's one. Click. Oh, and there it is, right? So this is a PDF. Um, Easy Bib might not be quite as good at um, finding the uh, all the information from a PDF, so you might have to do some of it yourself. But if you put the stuff in the right fields in Easy Bib, um, then of course um, it should be able to um, find it for you. You know, this one is such a big PDF. I'm not going to put that one in. I'm going to grab a different one here. Um, instead, I'm going to grab this one. This looks a little easier here, or it'll be a little easier on the system. Alrighty, cool, there it is. Uh, copying this to the clipboard, copy, hop over to EasyBib. Okay, cool, that weird citation, okay, that weird ad is gone. That's awesome. Create an, and then I'm going to click create a new citation and go through the process over again. Website, paste it there, search, it found it, cite, it can't, um, the, and it's pretty much the same thing. All the important information is there, but publisher sponsor isn't there. I'm just going to ignore that. It's okay. Complete citation. And now there are two here. You'll keep doing this. You might get a dumb ad. It's okay. Just sort of ignore it. Go do something else for a minute. Don't watch the ads. Um, and um, then when you're ready, when you have all of your citations here, you can click export and you can choose something. Um, what I recommend you actually, what I recommend you do is click Google Docs and export. And then you have to click export to Google Docs. It's going to ask you to sign in. Allow. And you can click the link. And there it is. And now you can take them all. You'll need to, you can do select all. Control A or select all. That's Control A or Command A on a Mac. Control C. Hop back over to your works cited page. Control V. Delete the extra title. Oops, I deleted both. Works cited. Alrighty, and that's it. Um, please be sure that when you paste all of your um, citations, they are in alphabetical order. Um, EasyBib should do that for you, but if you end up using a different tool for your citations, um, they might not end up in alphabetical order. So you need to check that. All right, for these two, M comes before P, so it's correct. And as you have more, you need to be sure that you're constantly checking the, um, the alphabetical order. Or if you go back and add one later, you want to be sure you drop it in the right place. All right, I think that's all you need in order to put together your works cited page. So I look forward to looking at um, all of these done beautifully. Thank you.